In today's video, I'm going to show you a successful Google ad campaign for a limousine and party bus client that has generated 71 leads in the last 30 days alone. Hey guys, it's Dustin with Clicks Geek here. Before we get started, if you can please click that thumbs up below, I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more awesome videos like this one. Now let's dive in. All right, so as I mentioned, this is a limousine and party bus client. We're gonna be reviewing this from a 30 day window. Uh, we have currently have a, a $37 per day budget set on this campaign. Uh, in the last 30 days, it has generated 270 clicks. It has a conversion rate of 26.3%, uh, which is really, really good. Uh, it has 71 conversions. Uh, it has a cost per acquisition of $11.49 per lead. Uh, and a total cost for the 30 days is $815.75. On this particular campaign, we're doing both calls and lead gen. So that once the consumer reaches the page, they have the option to complete the form on the page with name, email address, phone number, so they can be contacted back for more information. And then also they have the option to call the number that's on the page with, from a landline phone, um, or they can touch the call from a mobile device that they're most likely on already. Uh, and then all those track back into this campaign uh, for uh, performance metrics. All right, let's take a look at the ad groups on this campaign. Okay, so here are the ad groups. Uh, as you'll see, the top ones that we're getting the majority of the leads from are party bus, limo keywords, which is just basically just limo uh, keywords only, uh, Bakersfield limousine, uh, Bakersfield's party bus. Those are the ones driving the majority of the uh, the leads here. Uh, so basically what these ad groups are doing is they're, or they're organizing both the keywords and then on down to uh, some set, some settings inside of there. But then the biggest thing is like um, the, the ad itself, uh, which is what the consumer sees. So for instance, uh, Bakersfield limousine, uh, what this basically would do is it would uh, categorize so all the keywords inside of here they're very very uh, close closely related to Bakersfield limousine only so most likely in, in every keyword variation there's that uh, and then it's also communicated down towards the uh, the ad itself so that way like if a consumer searches for Bakersfield limousine they're also getting hit with uh, verbiage or communication on the ad itself that sounds so like something they search for already. So let's take a look at the keywords now. So here are the keywords we're using limo, limo rentals, party bus, uh, party bus rental, limo rental, party bus rental, limousine service, limo and Bakersfield, party bus rentals, party bus Bakersfield. Uh, and you kind of get the idea here. You can see what's uh, actually driving the majority of the conversions here or those top ones like that. Uh, on this specific campaign, we are doing both phrase match and broad match uh, keywords uh, and exact match so most, most likely. So um, we don't typically always do broad match, but whenever we need to get a little bit more of a reach, we do that. Um, and then phrase match, what the phrase match means is that the consumer actually has to search for um, whatever is inside of these, these little um, quotations. So limo rentals has to be inside somewhere of what the consumer actually has searched for. So one thing I wanted to mention here on this campaign is that we are using a target CPA of $18 on this campaign. So that means that basically just allows us to, to bid efficiently so that uh, the leads come in at a cost of less than $18. So if you're interested in having our team build a campaign like this one for your business, please reach out to us by using the application link down in the description. That's all that I have for today. I hope you have a great day and enjoy this video. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.